All right, hi everybody. It's me, I am standing outside my house in Bobo, and I thought today that I would give you a little tour of my humble abode. Uh, I know that uh, for you guys, it might be a little unclear what life is like <laughs> over here. So uh, let's start by my yard. So let's take a look around. As you can see, I have a very nice garage that is currently not equipped with a car and, <laughs> and by the meager salary that they're paying me here I have no intentions on buying one anytime soon uh, but the gar garage is useful my uh, night security guy actually lives in there now so that's his house and this is my house you can see there's a little radio over by the front door. This little spot here, that's where the night security guy spends the night making sure that nobody comes inside and kidnaps me or tries to do bad things to my body. And over here you can see the rest of my yard, lots of greenery, which is kind of nice and a, a real luxury over here. And as you can see, my cleaning lady slash cook has been hard at work doing the laundry. She works way too hard for the amount of money that we give her. We pay her about $60 US a month and over here that would be three times the normal salary that people in Burkina Faso make. So by Burkina Faso standards she is doing quite well for herself. So let's go on in. Take a look, my new house. Over here is my kitchen area. As you can see, I have a little table, a few chairs, little dinette thing so I can keep all my dry goods away from the bugs that you all know live around here. And over here I have my little kitchen. We have Awa. Dis bonjour Awa. <laughs> Dis bonjour à toute ma famille. Bonjour. <laughs> ça va. Ça va. And you can see I have a little propane sto or propane gas stove thing that I nearly set the house on fire to last weekend. But thankfully, Awa is here to make sure I don't kill myself cooking. And I have a fridge, which is real nice when the electricity is actually running. So, right here I have my living room. It's a very big house. Way more space than I need for just one person. Well, actually two because I have a roommate, but he's almost never here. Well, let's go into my boudoir. Let's see if I can turn on the light. I have a little desk slash work area. And this is my bed, covered with a mosquito net so that I can sleep at night and not have to worry about catching malaria. And I also have the piece de resistance, an air conditioner. <laughs> if electricity wasn't so expensive here and if we actually had it at night, I would actually turn it on. Now, next to my bedroom is my bathroom. And I have a shower, which doesn't really have a tub for. It just kind of goes to the floor and there's a drain in the middle of the floor. And that is how that works. I do have, however, a hot water tank but I have never turned it on because every time I've tried to turn it on the fuse blows up and it doesn't work so I don't actually have enough electricity going into the house to use the hot water tank so that's too bad so that means I get to have a cold shower which isn't that bad you actually do get used to it after a few days and we have just a normal kind of thing. Oh, the cool thing about the bathroom, the ba oh, the toilet, is that how it flushes. See this little thing? You pull, and the toilet flushes. I just think that's neat. Anywho. So yeah, that would be my house. Uh, I think I'm having some lighting issues. 
And uh, so now, Brad, you have nothing to complain about. I did another video, so haha. <laughs> and to everybody back home, hopefully talk to you soon. I hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, I'm doing quite well over here. Everything is hunky-dory. And I'll see you guys soon.